Hi everyone, welcome to day 28th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the Amazon data analyst interview question. So let's see the question first. Given two tables, orders and return, containing sales and returns data for Amazons, write a SQL query to find the top three sellers with the highest sales amount but the lowest return quantity. So first table we have that is orders. So in the orders table we have order ID, seller ID and the sale amount for basically each orders. And in the return table, we have return ID, seller ID, and the return quantity. So let's see the question one more time to understand better. Write a SQL query to find the top three sellers with the highest sales amount, but the lowest return quantity, right? So we will first need basically the total sales, right? That's what we need total sales by each seller. This is what the first thing that we need. And then, then second, we need basically the total quantity returned by each seller, right? So we'll say total quantity which is going to be QTY return by each seller right? then we can basically compare both of them and you know use some maybe sorting and that's how we can basically you know get the results that we need so let's go ahead and start writing our query so first we need the seller ID that's going to be this column so seller ID what you know we need and then the next we need is going to be the sum of sales so we want to see total sale for each seller right so we can see sale amount so the column name is sale amount and we will name it as like total sales right and we will say in the table which is going to be orders so the table name is orders now we we'll need to to get this total sales for each seller we we'll need to basically do a group by by the seller id right so we'll say group by by this you know seller id so now we can go ahead and run this query so they should basically give us the seller and this you know basically the total sale right so i think this is done for the first query and the second we will do the same but this time instead of the total sale amount we will get the total return quantity from this returns table so let's go ahead and write it again so select seller id then we will select sum of quantity return so let's see the column name I'll just print this you know table again so quantity return return quantity is the column name so we'll see return quantity so this is the column name and we will see as total return quantity okay so let me just give a space here now we will do the same from returns tables and we will need to do a group by because we are finding you know total return for each seller total return quantity so we need to do group by by the same which is going to be seller id now if we just run this one this table as well so this is going to basically return as the seller id and the total number of returns they have right so this is done so now let's go ahead and you know basically now we have two tables so two tables as actually giving us that these details so we just need to combine both of them so we can use cte so that calls common table expressions if you do not know about cte leave me a comment i'll make a video to explain it so cte is basically a virtual table so we will call this table as a cte1 and this table as cte2 okay although they are not existing in my basically database but it will just exist inside the query so we will say cte with cte the syntax is simple with and then the cte name which is i will just name this as with cte1 and I'll just say S. So this is the syntax and after that I'll just need to use the brackets. Inside the bracket I'll just put this query. Then I need one more CTE. I'll just simply use one comma and I will just give a name of the second CTE which is CTE2 and then from the CTE2 I'll just say S and I'll just use the brackets. So let me just go ahead and you know put this inside this CTE2. So instead of CTE1 and CTE2 I'll just give some meaningful name. Okay so I would say orders cte so this is basically order table so i'm just giving a meaningful name and then this will i will say returns cte okay so now i have two tables now i can go ahead and simply select the things that i need so now this is city one so this is city one like the first city and this is city two which is the second city so from this first city i'll just select the seller id so i'll just select from this order CTE so I'll just say select from this table that is order CTE and I'll select the seller ID okay so now this is done and I'll just name it as like as seller ID okay so let's go to the second line of this you know code 
now i will need basically this you know kind of like total sales amount right so this column so i will again say from this cte which is this one and i will say sales total sales okay so i'll be selecting total sales i'll now I'll name it as like total sale amount just to distinguish between these two table so this is done next next i will need like this total return from this city which is return city so i'll select this return city and from the return city i'm getting what this total return okay and i will just give a meaningful name for this column as well so total return quantity okay qty okay so all this done now i'll see uh, from so first i will see this one right this table so i'm getting this two column which is this two column from the first table so i need to join this two table right so i'll see like from this table i'm joining with the return city so basically i'm joining this two table because they both the table has the same column which says customer uh, sorry seller id right so if you just check this table has also seller id this table has also seller id so i can join based on the same seller id so i'll say join now the, the point is that you know the return table so might not have all the seller id or all the you know who has basically uh, you know sell in basically item right because all the items are not returned so what we need like what kind of join we need right so the point is that whatever we have in the orders table we need everything from the order table but in the return table we might not have all the seller id because not all the seller has maybe you could not got returns right so we will need a left join so the option means we will join everything from this table but we will only select matching you know things from this table right so we will use a left join here so i'll say left join so everything from this only see so the point why i'm using left join so let me just you know clear it you so for example let's just go ahead and comment it out for example a seller one okay sold an item right okay now uh, there is a return table okay so if the item is return right it will go to return right so we will have seller one and sold how much so return one item now let's say there is like uh, one more you know one more seller okay so we'll name it like seller two okay and sold like let's say one item and in return table this seller this item is not returned okay so this seller two item the one which is sold this sold item so it is not returned so basically in the return table we might not have any informations regarding the seller right so that's the reason we are basically doing a left join which means everything from the orders tables because see every order will exist in the order table but not all the orders will exist in the return table because they might not have been you know returned right so we will say left join with this return cte which is that means return table so that means we will be getting everything from this left you know table which is this one uh, like this one the order cte and we will only get those like all the you know item where the seller id is matching with this table because see if we get something in the seller you know table if we get something in the return table so definitely that order was sold right then only basically it got returned so that means they will this seller id will exist in the order tables so we'll say left join return cte okay now what conditions you are joining so they both have the similar column which is seller id so i will say on seller id that means this column seller id equals to this return cte and dot what seller id so seller id is going to be the same column now i can run this okay they should basically give me a result so let's just go ahead and see if we can get the results so now you can see that we have the total sales amount and we have the total quantity okay so there is one more thing we can do just to avoid like if you know any like uh, you know uh, null values so now because see, not all the a kind of seller has uh, you know maybe the return quantity so we can basically use a call as function here to avoid that so you can say call s and we'll say this functions and zero so let me explain what it will do so for example if for this seller like this is 101 and if this seller doesn't have any kind of like you know i would say return so it will return as zero in this basically table okay so uh, it will not return any null values because we'll do some calculations so that will basically give us error so we're simply saying using a functions if the return is nothing basically null then basically replace that null with zero so let's go ahead and run it again 
okay so now this looks perfect so now what we need to do basically simply we need to do order by this sales amount in descending and order by this total quantity in ascending because we need to select the top three seller who has the highest sales amount but the lower you know quantity in return so we will go ahead and say that we want to do order by order by which column which is going to be the column of this total sale amount so i'll say total sale amount descending which means descending and if i need another order by i can simply use comma and you know as long as like i can use multiple order by so first priority will be given to this total sales amount then second priority will be given to this you know second order by which is total quantity in returns so i will say total now the quantity return is this column now i'll say this as ascending because i don't want I want to select only the seller who has the lowest quantity in return so if i just go ahead and run it so let me just show you now you see i have got like eight seller and the first seller which is 101 that seller basically got the first rank because he has sold like 17,300. you know i mean amount and the quantity return is 10 and similarly this is with the second one and this is the third one now i can go ahead and use a, maybe a limit functions here okay so i can say limit two three because I only want to see the top three, you know, seller. I can just run it. Now I have the results, which is three seller and the total sales amount and the total return quantity, which is basically lower as compared to other sellers. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you really like my content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do solve interview questions on a regular basis. If you have any doubt, any queries, please let me know in the comment. Have a good day.